Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to Zombie Soup. It's kind of like a roguelite top down zombie looter shooter. I'm using the wares, I'm moving with the mouse, and there are things and stuff. Now, this is very, very early alpha. Why is there a fork on my desk? Like, seriously, why is there a fork on my desk? And I've skipped all of the cutscenes in the story. So there might be a lot of story. Like this. It might be absolutely epic. But you're not here for the cutscenes. No one is. You're here for the game. And obviously it seems to be booted into different sections. You can in fact go back down. Which is interesting. Right hand side of the street. Oh look at this. Look at what we're doing. So obviously the art style is very, very unique. They have kidnapped Ashley. Ashley, I'd like to point out, is a girl we met five seconds ago who he immediately hits on. That is how the game started. He got off on the train and then tried to get off on a girl. She was nice. It was friendly. But his first response was, yeah. So yeah, we're saving this girl purely because we're horny, I think. And I think that's entirely what we're doing for. Like, literally, we don't actually have any stakes whatsoever. She's just a random person we randomly met. And now I'm fighting random monsters. So it is a top-down shooter. Give me a second, we'll get to the shooting part in a second. We're apparently at the shooting part. I can punch things with right click. So you are looting, shooting, and obviously roguelighting zombies. And obviously this is... Uh, I have like 100 health, it takes 4 hits to kill anyone. But you pick up equipment as you go through, so obviously you change things up. And obviously you get through more exciting things as time goes by. There's a reload, okay, it's an active reload. Space bar to dodge, all the typical uh, top-down shooter roguelite mechanics, of which are popular. You know, you, you have invincibility, dodge rolls, aim, fire, reload. Oh wait, you don't do much damage, do you? Weapon's a bit rubbish. Is that a grenade? Not a grenade, it's a grenade! Oh no! Okay, good, I killed a random skull who's now going to be talking to me. And I imagine telling me what I'm meant to be doing. Because if he's not, he's doing his job wrong. Oh no, that zombie! Randomly attacked me and I dropped my gun over there. And now I've saved this person who immediately just left. I, I have questions. I have many questions. Okay, skip. So now we're being attacked by all the zombies. Was that big guy a boss? Who knows? Okay. So it's a cutscene. We can just get back to where we are. Yeah, I noticed they were blocking. You're going to have to rush up and have a look at them. They were very obviously there. I know I skipped your dialogue, but it's very obviously you're saying there's something blocking the way. If you literally have to look that close, then there's probably something going on. So obviously this is the roguelike pops so you die, you do stuff. They dodge, sort of punch. Wait, am I just... Oh, so first of all, I was jabbing with a baseball bat. So I've no ammo, I've got basic knuckles, and it looks like each and every zone is very small, because right now the loading times are about the same length as me running from one side to another. I don't care about your opinions, people. We have a game to get to. Oh, fridge. Okay, the fridge used to change your loadout rest to save the game. Is it not a roguelite? Have I been lied to? I may have been lied to. That's annoying. What do you mean you better get back to Ashley? She was behind you! Yeah, better get back to that person who's standing next to me. Come on. Okay, we're in the building. Having trouble beating a boss, try equipping a different loadout before the battle. So, it's not a roguelite? I need to read my information more. So it's one of those basic top-down shooters, I guess. Oh, 
Which, I mean, makes it a bit more different. Roguelikes, of course, have a bit more pedigree these days. I know top-down shooters, they're everywhere. Which means it needs to really show off what it can and cannot do. And right now, Henry's Bar, Floor 1, there's... Right now, obviously, I'd like for the levels to be a little bit bigger. I'm assuming that's a boss. Don't let out the creepy girl. Oh no, it's Fishmen? Is this Cthulhu? Oh, no. It says zombies, but definitely Fishmen. I have questions. No, don't go in, creepy girl. Oh, she's the regular girl. Wait. Thanks for letting... Are you a... no. Who's... Oh, she's a maid. Okay, good. So, new tutorial discovered. Press V to open contents. Doors. Thank you. I have learned of doors. Now, what a big issue you're going to have, by the looks of it, is how long it takes to bloody kill anything. Because it shouldn't. And obviously, there's going to be different weapon types in the game. But I also this is like doing a lot of stuff, but see that the amount of damage it's taken? Oh my god, it takes forever to kill something. Oh! Teach switch weapons. So I have two weapons. There are traps, which I immediately didn't notice. I have to find someone called Henry who cares. Break more of a chance to drop items. That's how you always break pots. That's what Zelda taught me. Uh. Okay. Uh. There we go. So some of the weapons obviously use a lot of ammo really quickly. That's like a base zooka. And everything seems very homemade. There's a little bit of humor going on. Oh my god. I have I have money, so there's obviously going to be a shop. Maybe Henry will give me a shop. Find and display Fishmonger Jr. Okay, let's go through the dungeon like aspects, I guess. Is he going to be a boss? What does rest do? I have rested, now what? Teach me your ways, O oh game of games. Yeah, sure. Oh, I guess it was just a boss. So, this is one of those G round games. I don't know if the game's going to be actually available because I'm very behind on the footage. But, G round is two free games every week for four weeks, which means they have a rotating stock of eight games at any one time. Some would be cool, some would be very early alpha, and you won't know if they're cool. Obviously, some for me will be bad, some for you will be good. Because obviously I'm not good at platformers, I'm great at strategy games. There's going to be a bit of a difference in what you find good and what I find good. Just remember that. Just because I'm bad at it doesn't mean the game itself is bad. Although I always try and find more interesting ones. Let's face it, it's very, very easy to just find games and say they're good or bad. But I'm always trying to find different, unique looking ones. Although, why... Is he fish based? Clear time 47 seconds, that could have been better. How the heck is he standing? I'm already ex is that Henry? I'm not too sure. Obviously, this is very humorous oh. based. He definitely feels like a shop. I'm not entirely sure about the art style. It feels almost claymation y. Perk row unlocks. Yes, there we go. So now I can get perks. Okay. Don't want the fridge. Is the Beretta constant? Yeah, the Beretta is always unlimited ammo by the looks of it. Wait, is the gun just broken? I don't appear to have one. It looks like once you, re once you rest to get your health back, everything else uh, spawns again. So it is a zombie dungeon looter shooter? Alright. So it's a du zombie dungeon looter shooter. 
And looks like the big guys get stuck at the door, that's fine. Not everyone can use doors, it's fine. We all have these issues some point in our life. But yeah, enemies are very much our bullet sponges. They also definitely cannot switch to the other weapons. I'm assuming it just broke. Unless the controls change? Controls. Yeah, switch weapon. Grenade is Q, switch weapon is T. Yeah. The weapon break? I guess the weapon just broke. Alright, we'll go with it. We'll go with it for now, game. Tips, baseball, dodge. Ah, oh, every time. So we found Henry, we've walked off, I got stabbed by spikes, and I fought the fishmonger zombie. And what are these things? I don't know. Yeah, zombies do take a few too many shots for my liking, but it could be fish zombies. We could be Cthulhu zombies. I don't know. Yeah, they're taking way too many shots. If you don't take this many shots, you require more weapons at any one time. No, what's this? Grenade packs can be obtained from multiple sources. Like 10 of any grenade, okay. So that says ammo on the wall. Is that actually an ammo thing I should go for? I mean, I'm assuming so. Interesting. I'm not a big fan of how you can't see a room unless you're in the room situation. If there's a door and it's open, you should be able to see in that room. Danger to feed all monsters? What is that? You just sealed me in for some kind of mini boss event. Looks like the enemies can actually damage each other though. See, this is what I'm after. Children ammo. So basic pistol is permanent, everything else is so much ammo. But yeah, look, see, things are still way too bullet spongy. But just five guys, even though I took more hits, still like use like 80, 90 rounds. So there are a few things that can definitely tighten. Bullet sponginess is the biggest failure of most games. If creatures take seven or eight shots to die, and that's just basic enemies, and your weapons only have so much health, or ammo, or whatever you want to call it, people aren't gonna keep playing. Because why should I? Let's see, if I do the whole this, and it's just gone. Yeah, it's just gone. That's it. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of things could be altered. I, the, the whole being able to see rooms that you've gone, open them, definitely important. The fact that every single gun pop your pistol has extremely limited ammo, and then disappears, that's a major one. Limited, extremely limited ammo, and the enemies are bullet sponges, which means any cool weapon you get, gone. Very very quickly. Now, that may change with the perk system, but if you're having to use your basic pistol most of the time, well, that's boring. Very honestly, that's majorly boring. Eat a burrito. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, I'm literally mainly using the pistol, because obviously I'm using the ammo. It's one of those things where do you save it for a boss, you save it for the future just in case. No, you want to use the cool weapons like rocket launchers that shoot fireworks. Or bouncing baseballs off things. But you know, if I do this and I'm almost out already. Like that, I've only got like three shots left. That's a waste of time. Now hopefully the perk system can do it better, but yeah, this is what I'm getting at. There were I do look at so many games. That if it doesn't leave a good impression, people say, why don't you play to the end to make, you know, if you're not playing to the end, how can you fairly judge a game? The same reason why if I eat a meal, I don't have to finish it to know I wasn't enjoying the meal. 
There's a lot of uh, top-down roguelike shooters, top-down zombie looters, or dungeon crawlers like this. There's a lot of them. Like, obviously there's different styles of how they look and so on. And there's also first-person, third-person, top-down, and so on and so forth. There's an awful lot of them. It's early alpha, so it can be fine-tuned, which is what's going to save it. You need to stop the things being, you know, super over the top. You need weaponry to last longer. Primary device, what we got? Unknown. Secondary, unknown. My class is novice, I've got nothing else unlocked. Got grenades, cool. What is this? Unlocked. Primary damage plus 10, melee damage plus. Okay. So I've unlocked one of things there. And it's 300 for the next one? Yes. Apparently not. Okay. So I can unlock them and then I have to use them. I think I have to buy all three to get to the next tier. No, apparently not. Okay. So currently, there's no way to have even more... If, even more damage. So yeah, that's what I'm getting at. I now do even more damage with my primary. My primary currently is a pistol, which I'm already bored with. Majorly already bored with. Is it another guy with a fish? Did you do the exact same combat maneuvers as the last one? Vaguely looks it. Looks it. Cool. I'm getting a boss repeat on the second boss. That's not a good sign, is it? Now again, it's early alpha. But we're getting boss repeats already. And I... I mean, it's nice when he's doing more moves. What that means, however, is that you're fighting the same boss and you're just dead to get some more combat maneuvers. Hopefully he's just a placeholder boss. Because obviously their first couple of attacks are the exact same. But the big spin attack, that's a more elite version. But it's still the same boss. I don't know what to think anymore. I mean, at least he telegraphs his attacks, I guess. Oh, there we go. Now we've got some more insane combat maneuvers. There we are. Still the same boss, but you know, it gets more exciting as time goes by, although this is a little bit insane. Clear time 141, slightly longer. Oh, rifle? Rifle class, cool. Does that mean I now have access to a rifle to start with? Because I'd very much like a rifle to start. Crazy fishmonger. No, I don't want a challenge again. Is there a speed boost for this thing? Feels like there is. All right, you. What do I get for that? And I think I'm going to end it. Rifle. Oh, cool, I get a primary rifle. Cool. Cool. So now I have a rifle. So, if you like the starting weapons of each class, you'll love this game. If you like a variety of weapons in your shooter dungeon calling games, you're not going to be very happy. Because now instead of using a pistol, I'm using an assault rifle. You know what the difference is? More bullets. You know what the similarities are? The same weapon. Permanently. Cool. I don't get to use the sword rifle for my other character. I now get a brand entirely new class who uses more guns. And there's the firework gun, yeah. So this needs a lot more work and stuff. I've been the Fallen Shogun. It's been zombie soup. On G Round, not sure for how long I've recorded this. About a few days before it's released. Or ended or whatever it is, but yeah. I've been the Fallen Shogun. Take care, be awesome, be epic, be amazing. If you want to check out any G Round games, that will be on the link in the description under the video. Take care. Be epic. Mm.
Mm, I do kind of like this gun, I guess. 